Hey guys, continue. So, in this lesson, I'm going to show you how to edit and refine NURBS surfaces. Okay, edit and refine NURBS surfaces. So, let's start with um, let's start with a sphere, with a NURBS sphere. Make sure in surfaces, surface, surface. Anyway, start with the NURBS um, sphere. So we're gonna draw a sphere. Okay, we're gonna use a sphere. Shade it. Press five to shade it. Now, here we go. We learned how to detach surfaces before. If you've been following my tutorials, we have. But we actually used um, the uh, CV curve tool. We actually, actu we actually uh, detached using the CV curve tool, okay? So remember, CV curve, it's a curve. So the option was in edit curve. Remember? Detach. What is it? Detach curve. You remember. Thanks if you remember. If you don't, guys, please go back to the other tutorials because it will, it will be a bit confusing. This is Maya from, from, from a baby. You know? If you miss a couple of years working away, you come back, you, your kid will be grown. You won't know anything. They won't know you. So, anyway. Let's go. Because we're using, we're working with the NURBS. So, edit NURBS. Okay? So we're gonna use an option called detach surface. Okay, that's the one that we use. Sorry, I um, I I clicked I clicked on that. So what we um going to do is to um, we're gonna in sorry in um CV curve we've got a point. Okay, we've got a point that we actually you actually point point at a point. Click. Remember, guys, we click. Then it it will leave a mark. Then we say detach there. Okay, this one is a little bit different. So for this one, we go to isoperm. Okay, we go to isoperm. Click on this blue bad boy, and drag. We drag it wherever we want to drag it. You know, we drag it wherever we want to drag it. We drag it. If we, we want to cut there, there we go. We can cut and perform an act. Uh, perform an action because right now I feel like performing cutting something. You know, I just want to cut it. So. I put a, I put my outline there, my mark, so we have to perform an action, you know. Then edit nerves, then detach surface. Okay, now we've defined. See, green, blue. The second selected one is always in green, so we, we, you know that these are two pieces, right? So anyway, we click on this bad boy, W to move this bad boy. There we go. We can move the bad boy. See that? We can move him. We've got two separate, uh, two separate things. Now we happy. Now we know how the detach curves, uh, detach two works on the um, NURBS surface, on this little um, I always forget a sphere. I always forget what the, what these things are called. I don't expect you, you guys to remember either. But if you remember good and you've got a good memory, I'm only 26, but anyway, it's not too bad. My memory is good. Anyway, um, so you you get the idea, guys. So now, just like we detach, if you can climb up the tree. You can come down, right? What goes up must come down. We can also attach this stuff. So rubber band select this stuff and go back to this one. Then we'll, uh, attach surfaces. We'll attach the surface. But you've, if you've noticed, it looks a little bit weird right now. It looks like some, like uh, Yoko, Yoko, egg, egg white wearing a cap. So we can actually pull them out, you know? We can pull it because we've got history turned on. We can pull this one out. And whatever we do to this one, Happens to the other ones like having a little puppet once again. See that? Whatever we do to this will be done to that. So if we wanna we take it back, all we can do, all we have to do is um we can do that. Take him back. Select this bad boy, delete them. We've got this one. There we go. The reason why it's doing that because it's got history turned on. Once you delete history, you'll be lost. Just like me. Without my history, I'm lost. So you get the idea, guys. But you've no, you've, you've noticed it's got a it's got an additional horizontal line there. It's all right, guys. Who cares? But you get the idea. We can do that. So let's try to do this in a more practical manner. So I've got a file. I'll start uploading these files. I think I'll start uploading these files on my blog. If you guys feel like you want to be using the file that I'll be files that I'll be using, let me know. I'll upload upload them on my blog. That way you can just go straight to my blog, download them, and work with me. Okay. But for now, 
let me know. I don't want to do something if you don't want it. I don't want to sell something that can never be bought. You know what I mean? So, I, by the way, they'll be free. I'm not. I don't sell anything. I love doing this, so you know, I'm doing it for fun. So, anyway, guys, I've got a file here called Kai F1. Okay. So I've got a file. So I'll upload it. Don't save. D don't worry, guys. I've got your screen. I've got my other messy stuff on the other screen. So you know, I've got this car. So. Um, see, it's got, it, it's got 20s, it's got, these are 13s, I think. <laughs> uh, these are, these are, whatever. Let's delete this thing. So, we want to make some rims, you know, to pimp, pimp our ride. Get this, this bad boy, and draw a nerb's sphere. I hate this sometimes, eh? We draw our nerb's sphere. Let's do that, make sure. Anyway. We'll draw our nerves uh, sphere. Now, let's move uh, this sphere close to our rim eyes. Rim. There we go. Now, we want to make a hub cap, okay? So, if you want to make a hub cap, go to isopump, okay? Select a portion. So, let's say I want to click. That's, that'll make a pretty good uh, hub cap, you know, rim covers. 20 inch hub caps. Anyway, click on that. Go into um, edit surfaces and trim. Trim to. No, no, no. Detach. Detach surface. What am I doing? Detach surface. Delete this one. You know? Now I've got that little hub cap. All we need to do is uh, click, uh, rotate this hub cap to. Um... Okay, now. You see, when we rotate it, see that? See that? So if it's a uh, 91, so if it's a uh, 91, if you look at the, usually what I do is I don't, sometimes I'm doing something because I'm so tired. I don't know what it's what degree it's on. So if I'm I'm close to it, like 91, I look at this one rotate Z, you know, because I'm rotating the Z axis anyway. So. I'll be like, uh, 90, oh, that's uh, the closest, it's probably 90 degrees. So I just do 90. There you go. I've got my my stuff right. And just do the move to and put him in, you know. There you go. Position him nicely. Now I've got a half cup on there. Duplicate it and bring him forward. The same thing. There we go, guys. You get the idea. So this is a more practical thing that I can do with um, what what we've got. Work with your resources, they say. Work with your resources. Yeah, I've got my resources. I've worked with my resources. There we go. I've got a hap cap. So, guys, two more tutorials. Then I'm going to watch a movie. So I'm making another tutorial. Then after that, I'll see you tomorrow. So that's our tutorial. We're happy with it. Perfect. Now let's advance to another tutorial.